Aries, welcome to your monthly reading here on the Astro Flower. We're going to be going into your chakras, your aura, and doing a week and a tarot reading at the end. It will be time stamped in the description below, but as I always sort of say, you're going to get the full picture if you watch it um, one thing after the other. It's uh, be it give the cards a lot of clarity anyway. Um, so yeah, we've um, been through funny February. We're now moving into magical March, uh, and February was sort of very funny. I've done the March collective reading as well, and that was really um, manic. I think is the best way to describe it. So um, March, oh yeah, we're going to be coming into your birthday season as well. So happy birthday to all you Aries out there who's going to be having your birthday in the uh, end of March. Um, so it's a real transitional time for you. You're in that autumn period which is leading up to your birthday. Uh, and in the last month before your birthday, um, it's mainly an emotional sort of um, situation. So it's an emotional retrospective. So looking back over the last year, what did you experience in the way of um, in an emotional sort of side of life? And what would you like to experience in the going future? Putting things into place within you so then that's what you can manifest in the going future. Okay, so um, <coughs> there was loads of things happening in March in regards to the collective as well, which I said, um, which I did the reading on. And we can see that in the chakras of the collective as well. Um, a lot changing there. We had a lot changing in the month before, uh, regards to uh, your, uh, regards to our uh, heart chakra and our solar plexus. This time here, we're talking third eye, throat, and sacrum. Uh, major changes going on there. You and it's good to sort of see that, to see how it plays into your monthly reading. And let's get on with your monthly reading. Let's go into your chakra. So this is the chakras for Aries for the month of. March. There is a transition within the root chakra here. It is beautiful, by the way. It is very, very solid, very large, uh, like uh, the sort of things that we were seeing in the collective reading. Um, but there is a bit of give and takes, and I think this is this last bit of organisation that you're doing in your within you uh, in this month. Um, and it's giving you, it's gradually putting into place. It's like you've laid the foundations of the house and now you're waiting for the cement to dry. That's the sort of scenario that it seems to be like. Um, so your root chakra here is, is very solid. It's very, it's got a very, um, very solid core to it, but there's a few loose ends that need to be tied up within you, but also outside of you so in the both ends I think I think they're very minor I don't think they're the major major overhaul uh, I think it's really very minor um, but uh, it's good to have them in place for going forward let's just see how it's going on in your sacrum so it comes out as balance but there is a slight persuasion towards the work um, and this might be a case of where you've worked out what you want to do in this coming year in the way of the physical world. And here is a case of um, getting on and doing it. And this is what it's building up inside you. I'm not sure it's the moment to start activating. So I wouldn't start a business in the first three weeks of March. I would be looking to start it actually really starting it after the um, start of the Aries season. But it all seems to be in place where you've got this business idea and now you've got all the list of the things you need. You've gotten ready to order the quantities, the investment, everything. Like that. Everything's ready to go. And I would just spend this, you know, a couple of weeks just making sure everything is in place, basically. Getting tying up those little loose ends, as it were. So it gives it on the sacrum, gives it a little bit more emphasis. And it is very small emphasis. Uh, between uh, to your work side of life, to your material side of life, your desires for your material side of life, your ego for your material side. Um, but in general, it is beautifully balanced. There is a good work play ethic going on within you. Um, enjoyment of life and working out when to and when not to 
do what you should be doing. So when to work and when not to work, when to play and when not to play sort of scenario. And it feels really nice, actually. It feels not so stressed, which you can be, Aries. Um, but um, yeah, there's because you've got that harmony, I think it's going to feed into your persona, your ego, your your general man, uh, manner that you carry yourself. It's almost like there's a confidence that you are building up inside you. Really nice confidence as well. It's not like an overpowering confidence. Let's just see what's going on in your sake on your solar plexus. Sorry. So there's a lot of potential at the base. There's a lot of potential at the base. So this is putting into place the things in life. So over the next couple of weeks, it does, there is some potential at the, at the top. So there is a, um, a collection of energy at the surface of your solar plexus. And I think that's for everyday life. I think you're, you're keeping on top of things. Um, but there is something building within you, like a, um, um, a call to a mission in a way. Uh, within your life uh, and this could be to do with your birthday uh, scenario that's um, coming up and as within the base of that solar plexus it is going to filter up through to your surface and I think that surface thing is going to be hitting mainly in April uh, this week uh, this month here might be a case of putting things into place or trying things out so trying things out seeing how they sit I'm kind of going, okay, that sits like that. Okay, but I do need to make certain adjustments of it. Okay, I'll take it back, make those adjustments and re-present it. That's what it could well be for you at the moment. And then once you get the setup right, then bah, you're off sort of scenario. Um, nothing untoward at all. There is a slight feeding, it's only very small as well, but slight feeding into your heart chakra um, in the way that you're creating your confidence and your and your courage and your passion and your fire within you um, to give it a direction for your heart's desires. Let's just see what's going on with the heart chakra. So there's a lot of socialising. I'm not sure this is the best month to be looking for your uh, twin flame or your or your ultimate love, as it were. I think this is a case of position yourself within your environment that is around you in regards to friends, family, community, work colleagues, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but there's there's a lot of socialising, and it's almost as if like you're presenting to life and saying, this is how I would like it to be. And this is what I'm going to live. Even within the obstacles that life may throw at us. And that's the, one of the changing things that I went into on the collective reading, which you will be able to find a link at the end of this reading. Um, there is going to be people who are going to understand, who have engaged their life with their consciousness. And there's a certain logic that's going to fall into place in March where pe there's, there's people that are going to get it. And the people who don't get it are really not going to get it at all. And they're going to do really illogical things. So this month here is also, this is why it's going to be magical March, because we're almost going to be looking at things and just kind of going, wow, that's amazing. Why would they do something like that? That's really magical. You know, um, it's pure magic, pure, pure gold as they say. Um, and I think if you're engaged with your consciousness, it's going to uh, make March for you guys, for Aries, um, a very open, very connective sort of month with lots of people around you. Uh, and as you connect with them, it's going to open up lots of aspects of your heart as well and how you want life. If you're not engaging with your consciousness or you're just starting to do that, um, in this case here, I would literally just um, start trying things out um, and not be scared of getting things wrong because um, you're going to learn very, very quickly and get yourself up to speed very, very quickly. Just choose one aspect at a time. 
that's what I would do. One aspect of your life that you want to explore um, and, uh, and examine and put it out there. And then you're going to be able to, and I think if you do connect with the people that are around you, as much as it is networking with um, colleagues, but also networking or you know socializing with your friends, family and community, you're going to be a winner whichever way it goes. Uh, it's not going to be a stress and strain upon you emotionally. It's going to be a very fulfilling month in regards to your emotions. Let's just see what's going on in your third eye and your throat chakra. So this is well balanced. There is a slight degree, like the solar plate, like the sacrum, sorry. Uh, there is a slight differentiation between the third eye and the throat chakra. So it's examining things and allowing them to come to the surface. So expressing your thoughts. I think the communication is going to be pretty logical. Um, if people don't get you, then that's because they haven't got the logic. They haven't worked it out that this new paradigm that we've come into um, is in such a way. And um, I think for you, it's going to sort the chaff and the wheat in your life a lot. Uh, but also at the same time, there is slightly a little bit more on the uh, third eye. So you will be examining things at the moment and seeing how they work and then expressing or communicating with people. And then communicating also is a question of listening as much as talking uh, to understand the situation in a logical sense so it can actually be um, made much more efficient and uh, works to a higher degree of uh, excellence uh, as you go forward okay so that's that let's have a look what's going on in your crown chakra the crown chakra is beautiful it's really it's got some lovely curves on it um, so it is trying things out trying things out within your consciousness if within your consciousness you kind of think do you know what I'd like to uh, ask uh, that person out to go bowling just for a laugh um, just trying things out to see how you fit with fit with life, how your consciousness fits with life around you, um, seeing where the coincidences connect with you, um, keeping an eye on those sort of things. We'll probably be able to see this within more detail within your weekly readings, which come out on a Saturday um, for you, uh, Aries. Uh, I think it would be much more on a go uh, blow, uh, you know, a case by case scenario rather than on a collective thing here. But you, you seem to be very in tune with your sort of um, consciousness. And it, it's a nurturing conscious, consciousness that you are gradually, you know, developing or um, putting it in place, as it were, in accordance with the world that is around you. Okay, so uh, there you go. There's your, that's your chakras. Let's just see what's going on in your aura and see what's... I think in the second week, there's going to be um, a shift as well. Within your second week of March, uh, that seems to be, I think it's more on the relationship than on the, um, sorry, more on the financial side than on the relationship side. Um, it's got to be said. And then we come into your birthday season. Uh, so from, I would have thought around about the 26th, to be honest. There seems to be a 26th, there's a big, moment a big realization within you we'll see this in the tarot readings as well at the end i think there's going to be a big realization and the tarot is going to help us clarify what that realization is um there's going to be a big realization within you which is going to set you off on a path for a whole year it's going to be a long-term sort of realization in, in in a way okay uh, let's just see how it flows through. Okay, that's fine. Let's just have a look. That that's, seems to be the main two points. Let's see what's going on with the flow of the, your energies. Okay, it feeds more the lower chakras than the upper chakras. Um, only slightly, but it's a very harmonious point. It's like you're coming to that, that uh, stage in your year where it's like, it's come to here and it's uh, it's almost stopped and there it's going to start swinging over. It's this pivotal point, I think, within your year that's coming up. And the, so the energies are flowing in both directions, but mainly flowing towards the lower chakras. Um, so this is all about foundation 
um, your root, getting things in place basically. That's what it appears to be sort of going like. Let's just see if there's anything untoward. I would just be a, a little bit wary of being too influenced by some people around you that may not necessarily, it's not they don't have your best interests in heart, but they have their interests in heart, if you know what I mean. And it may not necessarily be your interests. So I would just be a, just be a little bit wary. It's not a major thing at all, but sometimes, you know, you give it, you, you give a yard and they take a mile, you know, that sort of thing, you know. So I would just be a little bit wary of that. And, and as I say, I think it's more within your relationship sides uh, than on your on your material side than anything else. Um, but it's, they, they may be playing on your nice and generous nature. Uh, when you give, Aries, you really do give. And that's what they, um, you know, I'd just be a little bit wary of it. Um, helping yourself being wary of it will also help other people by making them aware of what they're doing as well. Because they, honestly, I don't think it's a nasty person or a nasty situation. I just think it is a situation or a person. And they may be a massive love of your life and that's why you should be honest and have that clear communi communication that clear logic between you and the other people that are around you all right there you go let's let's work on to um on to your monthly reading for your uh your tarot so here is the overall energies here is the karmic uh mission for your karmic uh message for your relationship side here's for your financial side this is week one week two week three and then accumulating in week four okay so this is for aries let's just see what's going on for you and your overall energies hangman seeing things in a different light and this is this whole idea of presenting things seeing how it works realizing what works what doesn't work bringing it back in readjusting it and representing it in life it's a little bit like that for you uh it's the hangman here is is seeing things in a different way and that's what you need to sort of realize this week of putting those little things into place in order to put those little things into place you do have to look at the world in a different way excuse me It's nothing like a bit of tea. So, yeah, that's the overall energy. And I think that plays on both sides, both on your relationship side as much as on your material side. Page of Wands, play, enjoy, uh, explore those little things. This is all to do with that presenting, representing and stuff like that. Seeing, throwing that wand up, seeing how it flies and seeing if you can catch it. And that's what I said within the relationship. Remember about bowling and stuff like that that I said? It's similar to that sort of scenario. And that's a learning curve for this week. It's a real exploration. And the Ace of Swords on the financial and the business world. As I said, I think you know what you want out of business or what you want, what you want out of the material world. That seems to be very clear for you. And yes, um, you should go and get it. Here on your karmic mission is, is if you see things in a different light, the Ace of Swords is like a gift that comes out of nowhere, comes out of the blue, comes out of left field, as it were. And uh, realizing this is because seeing these opportunities, you will see if you look at life in a different way. So you may kind of look at life and sort of saying, oh, I'd like to sell this product in my shop. And yeah, it could sell well. But at the same time, if you put this product there and that product there, that you know, this another product got presented to you from completely nowhere, and you kind of think, oh, that's a bit crazy, and you just happen to put it next to the other one, it actually feeds the sale of the other one without realizing it. And this is where I'm talking about sort of like gifts within your life on your material side that come a little bit out of the blue that you didn't realize. Um, but it is, I think it's good to use your intuition and follow those sort of, um, those quirky coincidences that arrive and actually are very beneficial to you. Let's see what's going on in the first week. Oh, so Ten of Swords. You you might have had difficulty in the past. I think this is coming to the end. I think this is uh, the end of something, um, end of um, 
relationships that maybe you were trying too hard, so it was causing you pain. So you're going to stop trying so hard to please everybody, and all of a sudden that pain will go away. And that's where you look at it in a different way. When you look at it in a different way and try things out, you're going to realize that any sort of painful situations within any relationships that you're having at the moment um, will just dissipate in 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 dissipate throughout the uh, out of the uh, out of your existence, out of your life. On your financial sort of side, on your work side, on your material side of life, you've got the two of cups. Everybody seems to have been getting the two of cups at the moment somewhere within their reading. Uh, for you, it's almost falling in love with what you do. And it's bringing everything into, into focus. That's what it's about for you in that first week. It's really bringing things into focus within your career path, within your job or your business. It's, it's streamlining your your... Um, your um, activities within your material world based upon having that larger view through the hangman. Um, and you can really start getting into kind of going, yeah, this works. And it's got to work with you on another level, not just on a financial level. It's got to work with you because it sits well with you because it makes you feel good and it makes you feel like you're doing the right thing. Um, and that's also a major component um, of the material world in the going future. See the um, 23 reading, and you should have a look at that. And um, <coughs> building upon respect rather than actually just being finances being the result of all of that. Okay, so in the second week, and this is what I was talking about as well, um, the um, second week uh, is um, justice, or this comes out of this card here. So you might have been having difficulties within the world around you on a relationship side. And this is where it's going to come out, where people are going to start realising that actually, you know, we might have done you wrong, Aries, and you deserve a little bit more sort of kudos in the situation. Far too many cards to take in one go there. Let me just pick up the cards that are dropped on the floor. I am noting the cards that are jumping out. But here we go. Thank you. Hmm. There's a definite choice to be made, and once you do, you're going to be on a really strong path. But yeah, so uh, on your relationship side, I feel like there's a case of there's there's karmic justice coming in for you. Uh, just before your birthday, or you, you find yourself, you put yourself in a harmonious place after a difficult ending. Um, and that's by trying out and being here and having that, not, not being a child, but having that childish energy that can sort of help you, you know, move forward. Um, yeah, there's a lot of messages as you saw the card sort of jumped out all over the place. Uh, a lot of messages coming into you when you realised in that first week, all of a sudden, when you if you look at things a little bit differently, all of a sudden, you're going to realise within your career path and your business that there's a lot of possibilities. And there's a lot of information coming in and feeding your path as well. And how can you um, get the best out of that in order to, for you to be in the best sort of situation? there is that realisation that's coming to the fore, okay? So let's just see what's going on in week three. This is where we come into your birthday season. A leap of faith. And I I think this comes back to the karmic message here, where you, you've got to be, you've got to try things out. Uh, don't just be, you know, sit on the sideline and sort of saying, oh no, it's far too painful, I'm not gonna do ever do that again. Because that's where that comes from. With that judgment, all of a sudden, you can take that leap of faith of going forward and just fall in love with life again by the looks of things. Um, and it's starting of your, your birthday season, so it's going to really play out well for you. On this side, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. It's putting you into a very strong position uh, within your workspace. Uh, where you're going to have this confidence within you. And as I said earlier on, 
it is building a certain swagger within you when we were looking at your aura and your chakras. Now, it's building a sort of swagger within you because you know you're on the right path and it has been confirmed. Um, it may not necessarily see that, that you may not have the results as, as such, but you know this is the right, the right path to follow. And the Queen of Pentacles is almost sort of saying, and now let's put into action what we've, what we've understood within us. Let's just see what's going on at the end of the, the month. Well, on your relationship side, with that leap of faith, yeah, there could be lots of offerings in regards to um, maybe a new relationship for you. If it was a separation, difficult separation that came out, um, came, uh, that came through uh, before. But it's also, um, you know, the possibilities of a contract as well or, co or communication maybe uh, that's coming your way that now you've freed yourself up and you've got yourself in a harmonious place and then enjoying life and getting out there and socializing, that's when the communication may start um, for you. So you've got two nights at the top, which is lovely. This is all about going on that journey, uh, starting that journey, that new year, which starts from your birthday season, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's keeping that rhythm up on this side and i don't you know i don't worry about that with you aries you're very good at work and you work very well uh, usually um and that rhythm that passion is going to flow through you let's just see what the overall outcome is and how it's going into the future the king of cups a lot of people have had the king of cups as well all of a sudden it's going to be plain sailing for you because you've put that structure in place and how you've looked at things completely differently. You've tried things out with that page uh, there. And as you go through that justice and understand the messages of how to change things within your financial side, that brings you up to that night scenario. So from changing from a page to a night, um, which will ultimately lead into you being the king and queen of your own destiny uh, by the looks of things absolutely beautiful reading um it's gonna it looks like from the mid march or late march i would say around about the 24th from the 24th and going right through april is gonna be a beautiful and harmonious months for you that period there i think is going to be very harmonious for you and when it's harmonious yes it's the moment to enjoy life uh, to enjoy your connections with people that are around you but it's also a moment to um, give you definition and direction within your life. There you go, uh, Aries. Thank you very much for being with us here on the Astro Flower. If you're still watching and you're not subscribed and click that bell, what the blazes? Are you serious? Come on. You know you want to. It would help us. Seriously, it would help us. It shows us good support. Um, you're supporting this channel uh, because without you, we are absolutely nothing. Uh, we are here because you want us to be here. That's the thing. Uh, and watching these videos, sharing them across all platforms would be really nice. We do have master classes of energy, of karma. We're going to be doing some stuff on chakras as well, which is also on this channel, which you will find on our channel. And there's also that collective reading for March as well. In the meantime, Aries, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy. <laughs>